Hello, good afternoon. Imagine you are an international athlete. Imagine you have won several international medals and imagine you have broken the Italian record of three, five, 20, 35, and 50 kilometer race walking. What would be the worst thing that could happen to you in your career? I will show you. This video was taken in Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games last year, and I've been training for this race for five years. As you know, Olympic Games were postponed due to COVID. I was one of the favorite athletes to win a medal, but I got a huge injury during the race. The world was looking at me. It was really humiliating as I arrived next to last. But I didn't give up and because I was living my childhood dream and I was representing my country, Italy. What is resilience? Is it the ability to be happy and successful after a hardship? Is it the power to switch from dark to light? Is it the ability to succeed no matter what? I am Eleonora Giorgi, and as an international race walking athlete and Bocconi 2014 graduate, I would like to share my journey to this stage and my secret to resilience. Being both a student and an athlete was not easy. And they were not sacrifices, they were choices. And as long as you find the job you are passionate about, you will never have to work a day of your life, to quote Confucius. Race walking is my passion. Race walking is my life. But uh, what's behind the success? You only see the tip of the iceberg. Or to make it a little bit sportier, you only see the tip of the shoe. Now I would like to share with you another video. Because if you want to win, you have to learn how to lose. You have to go through dark moments in able to see the lights. Failure is really hard to accept, but it's a great opportunity to learn and grow. Great scenes for Georgie. The run of disqualifications is over at World Championships for her. She's over the line in third. This video is from Doha 2019 World Championships, where I won a bronze medal. But what you don't see in this video is that the race took place in the desert, as we, are, we were in Qatar. And also, and there were 40 degrees. And also, you don't see that the race took place at 4 a.m. in the morning. And while many athletes gave up, Passion kept me going. Actually, now I would like to share with you my secret to resilience. I've named it the three P's. Here's the first one, passion. Passion guided me during my darkest moment as it guided me during my strongest ones. It guided me from failing the first math exam here in Bocconi to eventually graduating in a master degree. It guided me from being disqualified in Rome 2016 at World Cup in front of my whole family and friends 
to breaking the five kilometers race walking record. And it guided me to participating at three Olympic Games, London, Rio, Tokyo. And for sure, it will guide me for preparing my fourth Olympic Games that will be in Paris 2024. Success came set a cost. And my second P is patience. Positive thinking and optimistic attitude are keys to success. As Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it. But dreaming is not enough. You need hard work, a little bit of patience, and a little bit of luck. Patience takes time. It took uh, three years for me to win a bronze medal. As in 2016, I got a knee surgery, and many doctors told me that I wouldn't be able to walk fast. But three years later, I won my first international medal. Dark moments don't last forever. If you wait, you will be able to shine. And when you see the light, you will appreciate it much more. It's a long way to get to the final result, and I always keep my mind on the big picture. But to achieve my final goal, I always try to get there step by step by micro goals. When I first qualified for Trofeo Frigerio, that is a small trofeo that is held in Lombardia, only for athletes in the north of Italy, I came last with the oldest people. But then I trained day and night, and I was able to qualify for Italian championships and European championships under 23. Last year, after Tokyo 2020, I got a huge injury and I couldn't walk. So I found a new use of my time, and my next project will be this one. <laughs> and Success came at a cost, and it's a marathon of patience. Here comes my third P, perseverance. It's not an easy way to reach success. There will always be ups and downs. But perseverance is, is important, and I myself persevered, but I was also surrounded by a great team. The importance of a team is primordial. My parents support me every day, and they teach me never to give up. My coach, my physiotherapist, my osteopath, my nutritionist ensure that I am able to walk 30 kilometers a day with every weather conditions. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> supporters are really important to me too, so thank you, uh, because uh, when I fail, uh, they always uh, send me hundreds of messages on social media. Also last year, after um, the failure in Tokyo 2020, uh, they wanted to be sure that I don't give up and uh, that I will go to Paris 2024. Reaching your personal goal doesn't mean you have to do it alone. So at the beginning of my speech, I ask you what resilience was. Resilience is the ability to see the light at the end of the tunnel. It is the ability to use passion and patience as weapons to persevere. Resilience is what brought me from this to this. Never, never, never give up. Thank you.